My name is Merle Ratner. I'm a co-coordinator of the Vietnam Agent Orange Relief and Responsibility Campaign, which is a national campaign seeking justice for Agent Orange victims in Vietnam, for more than three million Agent Orange victims who've been affected by the U.S. government's spraying of chemical weapons uh, during the U.S. war in Vietnam. With me are uh, members of the Vietnam Association of Victims of Agent Orange Dioxin, which is the Vietnamese organization that represents more than three million Agent Orange victims and survivors in Vietnam. Uh, to my right is Mrs. Dong Hong Nhut, who uh, survived spraying of Agent Orange and has been affected by multiple illnesses and uh, disabilities because of her exposure to Agent Orange. Mr. Ho Si Hai, a veteran of the war, was also affected by spraying of Agent Orange and his family was affected. And Dr. Nguyen Chung Yun is the Vice President of the Vietnam Association of Victims of Agent Orange Dioxin, as well as a uh, former Minister of Health and former um, uh, head of the Vietnamese Red Cross. Uh, Dr. Nguyen is Vice President of the Association, which has brought a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit in U.S. federal court on behalf of the three million Agent Orange victims in Vietnam against the U.S. chemical manufacturers of Agent Orange. Well, let me first say the campaign is a campaign brought by U.S. veterans, by Vietnamese Americans and peace and justice activists to achieve a number of things. One, we could support the lawsuit brought by the Vietnam the Agent Orange victims against the U.S. chemical manufacturers, uh, Dow Chemical, uh, Diamond Shamrock, etc to achieve full compensation from the chemical manufacturers who profited from the making of Agent Orange. Second, we hold the U.S. government accountable because they uh, paid for and sprayed this toxic chemical on the people and land of Vietnam with our tax dollars. And we believe that it's only a matter of fairness, justice, humanity, as well as international law that Vietnamese victims of Agent Orange be compensated as the U.S. veterans who were exposed and suffered from Agent Orange were partially compensated after a long struggle. Um, I will, uh, do you want them to tell their stories and I'll translate? That would be wonderful. Okay. Tôi là Đặng Hồng Nhật. Tôi là một nạn nhân chất độc da cam dioxin. Tôi đến từ thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Okay. Uh, my name is Dong Hong Nhat. I'm a victim of Agent Orange and I come from Ho Chi Minh City. Cũng như nhiều người nạn nhân chất độc da cam vô sinh khác đang sống ở tại Việt Nam, chúng tôi phải chịu đựng nhiều những cái bệnh đang xảy ra. Chúng tôi rất là khổ cực. I I represent many uh, Agent Orange dioxin victims who are suffering and I come here to tell their story. Tôi đã bị nhiễm và tôi bị sảy thai ba lần và một lần sinh con thì có thai đến hơn năm tháng thì con tôi đã chết trong bụng và khi lấy ra đó là một đứa bé dị dạng. I was exposed to Agent Orange. Um, I was directly under the spraying and it greatly affected my family. I, I tried to have children and I had several miscarriages and one stillbirth of a baby born very deformed after five months in the uterus. Nhiều người bạn bè khác của tôi cũng tình trạng còn khổ hơn tôi nữa. Họ đang phải uh, đói, thiếu vì phải nuôi những đứa con khuyết tật và họ đang phải chịu đựng nhiều cái bệnh rất là hiểm nghèo. Many of my friends have also had uh, children who've been uh, born stillborn or born with horrible disabilities and um, I'm here representing them as well. Bản thân tôi, ngoài việc sinh con dị tật và sảy thai, tôi còn bị một lần mổ cấp cứu do bị khối u ở ruột và một lần mổ do lấy khối u ở tuyến giáp. She had um, two cancers, two cancerous tumors. One was a tumor of the, I think, intestines or in internal organs. The other was a thyroid tumor. She had to have her thyroid removed as well as part of her intestines. In addition, her husband, who was similarly exposed to Agent Orange, died of cancer several years ago. Tôi còn rất là lo lắng, không biết sắp tới đây tôi phải chịu đựng những cái bệnh gì nữa sẽ xảy đến do hậu quả rất là nặng nề của chất độc da cam dioxin. Um, this is a very serious problem for the people of Vietnam, especially for the women who've been 
you know, horribly affected, been de denied their right to be parents, and have continued to suffer several generations after the spraying uh, from these toxic chemicals. Chất độc đó không chỉ đã tai hại cho chúng tôi mà còn cho lớp con chúng tôi và cháu chúng tôi nữa. Yeah, it affects nhiều thế hệ. Yeah, it affects not only the children but the grandchildren and the great grandchildren because it lodges itself in the fatty tissues and in, in, in the genetic structure. And so, children who weren't even born during the war are still being born horribly deformed. Là phụ nữ, tôi rất là thông cảm với những người phụ nữ phải chịu ảnh hưởng bất hạnh do chiến tranh đem lại. Cho nên tôi uh, mong các bạn Mỹ hiểu hoàn cảnh của những người phụ nữ vì chiến tranh. Chúng ta hãy đoàn kết lại chống chiến tranh do những người những nhà cầm quyền xấu muốn làm chiến tranh để họ thu lại. Uh, for women especially this is very painful. We we are not able to to have children that we very much love and we're asking solidarity from the American people and especially from the American women to support our cause, to support our lawsuit, to, to achieve justice. Chúng tôi muốn uh, được hòa bình và đem lại công bằng cho chúng tôi. And we, want, we all seek peace and want to share this desire with each other. I should also say that she was exposed to Agent Orange when she was in the Kuchi area. She was directly under the U.S. spraying and she immediately experienced rashes and diarrhea and she didn't know that the cancers and the birth defects would come later but she's just told you about them. Thank you. Yeah. Ing hai? If we can move the mic. Oh. Okay. Uh, tôi là Hồ Sĩ Hải. Uh, là nạn nhân uh, da cam uh, từ uh, Thái Bình. Uh, đến, uh, nước Mỹ. Uh, my name is Ho Si Hai. I'm an Agent Orange victim and survivor from Thai Binh, which is a province in the northern part of Vietnam, and I'm here with a delegation visiting the U.S. Uh, tôi bị nhiễm uh, chất độc da cam là trong cái điều kiện tôi là chiến sĩ quân đội nhân dân Việt Nam đi chiến đấu và được giao nhiệm vụ uh, vận tải ở đường Trường Sơn, tức là đường mòn Hồ Chí Minh. I was a veteran during the U.S. war in Vietnam as a veteran of the People's Army of Vietnam, and I was a driver who was sent to bring supplies down the Ho Chi Minh Trail from the north to the south. Chúng tôi sống và hoạt động ở con đường mòn này từ năm 1966 đến năm 1969. For three years, I was fighting. I was driving on the Ho Chi Minh Trail when I was exposed to to Agent Orange. Và chúng tôi đã chứng kiến và cùng uh, ở chung hàng uh, thấy hàng nghìn lượt tốp máy bay Mỹ giải chất độc khai quang xuống đầu chúng tôi. I saw the, the American planes coming over spraying something. Uh, we didn't know what it was and we tried to take cover but we, it, they, they sprayed day after day and we sometimes had to eat when they were spraying. Và rất nhiều lần thì giải ngay trên bầu trời mà chúng tôi đang ăn cơm ở dưới đất. Yeah, so it affected our food supply because we were eating when they were spraying. Uh, sau thời gian dài như vậy, tôi về lấy vợ và đã sinh con thì đã bị xảy thai hai lần. Um, after that, I, I got married and I had the, the two children that were were not were had, were uh, still born or miscarried. My wife miscarried. She was also uh, fighting in the same area and also exposed to Agent Orange. Và một lần uh, được 5 tuổi thì phát bệnh ung thư và chết. Um, I had another little girl who lived only to 5 years old and then she died of cancer. Uh, hiện nay tôi còn 3 người con thì hai người bị uh, câm điếc và dở dang, còn một người thì bệnh tâm thần điên dại. I have I was able my wife and I were able to give birth to three children who lived, but two of them are deaf and cannot speak. And the third has um, brain damage and mental um, illness. Uh, vợ tôi cũng là đồng đội của tôi thì đang bệnh ung thư uh, máu và bệnh tiểu đường đang chờ chết. Uh, my wife has also had operations for cancer and is very seriously ill. Uh, còn bản thân tôi thì mang bệnh u sơ tiền liệt tuyến và bệnh tiểu đường. Um, and we don't know what will happen to her. 
um, cái lo của tôi cũng như nhiều đồng đội tôi là khi chúng tôi chết đi thì không biết những người câm điếc dở dang ấy ai nuôi và cuộc sống như thế nào sau này. Many people have died from Agent Orange poisoning. It's it's really hard to even count how many, and they're still dying to this day. Uh, rất nhiều người trong đồng đội chúng tôi đã chết vì bệnh uh, ung thư máu và nhiều người bệnh vô sinh và nhiều người thì đã đẻ ra những quái thai dị tật và câm điếc. Many people are getting cancer and having to have operations and many people are continuing to get sick and it also affects the, the land of Vietnam. Nguyện vọng của chúng tôi đến Mỹ là kêu gọi để và nói để cho nhân dân Mỹ hiểu được cái nỗi đau nỗi khổ của những người nhiễm chất độc da cam. I come to the US to speak to the American people to get their understanding and support for our efforts to gain justice for Vietnamese Agent Orange victims. Rất mong muốn là được đông đảo uh, quần chúng và nhân dân Mỹ sẽ ủng hộ chúng tôi trong vụ kiện các công ty hóa chất Hoa Kỳ. We ask the American people to support us in our lawsuit against the chemical companies to achieve real and meaningful compensation from those who profited from this horrible weapon, uh, this horrible chemical weapon. Xin cảm ơn. Thank you. Okay, and Dr. Nhan, you can speak in English. Uh, our delegation came to U.S. with invitation of uh, Asian Orange Relief and uh, Responsibility Campaign and uh, the Society Veteran for Peace. Uh, the first time for us to come to Seattle, we uh, uh, have a trip in the U.S. for one month when uh, we visit ten cities in the U.S. Our delegation came to the U.S. Uh, to inform to American people about the situation of Asian Orange dioxin victims in Vietnam. We uh, are not agree with the decision of uh, the judge Winston in uh, the court of uh, Brooklyn. Uh, he considers that uh, Chemical use in Vietnam uh, is not toxic for Vietnamese people. Uh, this uh, decision is unfair and unjust. Uh, why uh, this uh, chemical is uh, toxic for many people in the uh, American Army, uh, but uh, it is not toxic for Vietnamese people. And that's why we uh, inform uh, the situation of uh, Asian Orange Dioxin victims in Vietnam. And we hope that American people understand us and support our uh, lawsuit uh, for the compensation from uh, uh, chemical companies uh, for the use of uh, toxic uh, products uh, to influence in the hands and the environment, environment in Vietnam. Uh, thank you for your attention. Let me say one more thing, just to give people some background. Judge Weinstein was the federal court judge who was the, assigned this case. He dismissed the lawsuit on completely spurious grounds, as Dr. Nyan has said. His, his opinion was law, both on the wrong, the, the, the wrong and both the law and the facts, and we expect the Court of Appeals to overturn his decision and to reinstate the lawsuit. Um, whatever the court does, though, this campaign is here to stay, to pursue justice against both the chemical companies and the U.S. government, and we intend to keep going with this campaign. We have uh, now th tens of thousands of veterans, Vietnamese Americans, environmental activists, legal activists, health activists who are committed to make in, uh, ensuring justice and fairness and compensation for the Vietnamese victims. And um, we will uh, pursue every means that we need to pursue to make sure that the chemical companies do the right thing as well as the U.S. government. I want to tell your, uh, your viewers and listeners that we have a brochure here that they can get by emailing www.vn, that's a V like in victory, N like in Nancy, hyphen agent orange all one word dot org www dot vn 
agentorange.org. And if you go to that website, you can get the brochure, you can get lots of information about how you can support the people in Vietnam to achieve justice for um, their injuries from Agent Orange. Thank you. If uh, for any reason the um, U.S. courts don't meet your demands, do you anticipate taking this to international courts? Um, that would be up to the Vietnamese Association of Victims of Agent Orange and their lawyers. But we intend to take it to the court of public opinion, both internationally and in the U.S. And internationally, there's a campaign to support their case all over the world. There's big committees in France and Sweden and England and Japan and many, many other countries, Australia, New Zealand, uh, the Philippines. And in this country, uh, I think that the chemical companies should remember that it's us who buy their products. And Dow Chemical makes every household product known to women. And women can just as well use a product of another company. So if they decide, they, we think that they will decide to be good corporate citizens. And we think it's in their interest to make that decision. But if they don't take the right decision, we'll be happy to help them make the correct decision uh, through whatever means is, is appropriate at that point. But right now, I want to stress that the case is in the courts. We believe that the, the, the Court of Appeals will reinstate the case. And we will be in court to support the lawsuit in, in large numbers. And we will be outside the court, too. And, and in many cities, people will be supporting in different ways. And again, that court case is taking place specifically where and where can people uh, voice their opinions to? Uh, the date has not been set for the oral argument. It will be in April of this coming year. It will be in the Court of Appeals, Second Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan, uh, because that's where the Court of Appeals for that district is. And if people go to our website at www.vn-agentorange.org, we'll have updates about the case on the front page, and we'll let you know where to go. If you're not online, you can write to Vietnam Agent Orange Relief and Responsibility Campaign, P.O. Box, Post Office Box 303, Prince, P-R-I-N-C-E, Station, New York, New York, 10012. That's P.O. Box 303, Prince Station, New York, New York, 10012. And we will mail you, or you can include your mailing address or your phone number. We'll be glad to get back to you and give you updates on the case and, and talk about how you can help. Maybe you could uh, have them discuss, were there other people that they served with that they know that have been directly okay. affected by this, and or the communities that they lived in that they have neighbors and yeah. such that okay. were directly affected. Có rất là nhiều. Tôi có rất là nhiều những người bạn của tôi, bạn trai cũng như bạn gái. Họ, nhiều người vì bệnh đã chết. À, còn một số thì đang còn sống nhưng mà sống rất là nghèo khổ vì không thể đi làm được phải ở nhà nuôi những đứa con okay. không yeah. tay không chân tật nguyền. Okay, she has many friends and neighbors affected by Agent Orange, both men and women. Um, many of them um, can't work. They're very very poor because in fact Agent Orange victims are the poorest people in Vietnam because of the disability, and many of them can't work and they've got children that are so disabled that they can't speak, they can't eat, all they can do is lie in the bed and the, and the parents have to work, stay home full time to take care of these severely disabled children, to wash them, to clean them, to feed them. And they give them very good care, but it's, it, it makes it difficult to work. Huh? Uh, chúng tôi cũng rất nhiều người, uh, rất nhiều người hiện nay là đã chết và đang chờ chết. Và uh, còn nhiều người thì coi như là hoàn toàn là bất động tôi coi như là nằm chết dí mấy chục năm nay không hề làm được một gì không biết một cái gì cả coi như là một cục thịt vậy. He also has many friends, um, neighbors who've been killed, as she has, and also that have been seriously affected, and it's difficult for them to survive because they're so poor, they they can't work, they are caring for their caretakers for these severely injured family members. Uh, in Vietnam, there is now uh, about uh, 3 million Asian orange dioxin victims. Uh, they uh, have um, many, many heavy uh, disease and uh, many birth defects. 
and uh, the influence of Asian Orange not only for one generation but uh, for many, many generations. And that's why uh, we must have uh, a cooperation uh, of uh, many countries, including the United States in Vietnam, uh, to prevent the disease and for the treatment of uh, this disease and for the prevention of uh, birth defect for many generations. Uh, that is the uh, Asian orange and dioxin is uh, very dangerous for not Vietnamese people but also for mm -hmm. many people in the world. We must uh, uh, speak inform to other people about the, zen the danger of Asian orange and dioxin. What is the state of uh, the healthcare system in Vietnam and are there any known treatments for those affected by Agent Orange? Well, I think one thing, I'll let Dr. Nguyen speak about the healthcare system, but Agent Orange is not just one disease. It enlarges itself in the fatty tissues and it causes many, many diseases. The U.S. Veterans Administration has classified 13 different conditions as being caused by Agent Orange for the purposes of compensating through disability, American veterans exposed to Agent Orange. And in fact, there are many more. So they can be cancers, they can be skin problems, they can be horrible, horrible birth defects and deformities. There can be um, mental illnesses, there can be spina bifida. So it's very hard to have, there's no one treatment because the stuff is so toxic. It just lodges itself. And I should say, Vietnam has taken it on its own responsibility to compensate its own victims. Vietnam is one of the world's poorest countries, but it's very proud of its ability to take care of its people, and it is compensating to the best of its ability all Agent Orange victims, no matter what they did in the war, if they're veterans, doesn't matter which side they fought on. But the majority of Agent Orange victims weren't even born during the war. They're second, third generation children. And I'll let Dr. Nyan speak to the question about the healthcare system, because Dr. Nyan is a, the most renowned uh, ophthalmologist in Vietnam and is a leading uh, healthcare worker since he was the Minister of Health and the head of the Red Cross. Uh, the government of Vietnam uh, has a policy to help uh, Asian Orange and Dioxin victims. But uh, you know that Vietnam is uh, one of the most poor countries in the world. And uh, the hands network in Vietnam uh, also is a very limit in uh, his uh, equipment and uh, medicaments. Uh, we uh, have um, many diseases uh, too heavy to treat in Vietnam. Uh, in, uh, during some years ago, uh, we have uh, some patients, some victims, can come to other countries, for example, to U.S. for the treatment. I hope that uh, you can receive the help and cooperation from a uh, health worker of uh, U.S. And uh, I think that this cooperation uh, reduces the pain of uh, Asian orange dioxine in Vietnam. Mrs. Nyat also reminded me that she is taking part in this effort that Dr. Nyan has talked about. She is the director of a center in Ho Chi Minh City that does occupational uh, and health work with uh, uh, disabled children, and, and including a lot of Agent Orange-affected children. So her center is one of the ones that, that would uh, benefit from the kind of help that Dr. Nyan is talking about, which is a massive infusion of, uh, of, of resources of money and resources to help Vietnam take care of its own Agent Orange victims, to be able to increase the medical technology, the, you know, all the things that cost a lot of money. They've got the people to do it, but it's a question of the resources. All right. Any final thoughts, words? Um, I think that we're here in Seattle um, because the veterans in Seattle, Veterans for Peace, has invited us. Veterans for Peace has been active across the country. So I'd like to appeal to veterans, to women, to people involved in environmental justice movements, to students. People that are thinking about what U.S. war is doing today in Iraq, 
to think about responsibility for U.S. war, there's a connection between um, the responsibility of what the U.S. is doing now with chemical weapons, with white phosphorus and with depleted uranium, to our veterans in, in Iraq and to, the Viet and to the Iraqi people, with what the U.S. did in Vietnam. And I don't think the U.S. will ever be able to, um, to clear its conscience unless it compensates the Vietnamese um, victims of Agent Orange, and unless it stops using these chemical weapons of mass destruction. So we hope that people will support the campaign, check out our website, and, um, and become active in your community around this issue.